Hey everybody, Rich here coming at you from the Hotel Motel Hotel Motel 6. That is, uh, I just ripped these four packs of Series 2, the first of the year. And in the second pack, it's hard to believe, but I pulled Corey Seeger, Corey Seeger, Corey Seeger Game Used Relic. It says so right there in the corner. 40 of 50. So only, uh, 49 other people got a piece of Corey Seeger's underwear like I did. Pretty cool, man. Pepino Man's going to be jealous. But uh, pretty cool, man. I like Corey Seeger. And I'm also happy to see the Dodgers are doing a little better. I think I commented in an earlier video that they were not looking that solid this year. Along with the Astros. Pulled an Astros team card from the Series 2, who I also thought did not have a really strong start this season. But both those teams, who we know went to the World Series last year, uh, are doing a lot better. They just had kind of a slow start. Um, Astros are hanging right up in there with uh, the Yanks and the Red Sox. I think they're only a game or two behind. Uh, either one of those teams, which uh, the Yankees are now in second again after losing to Philly tonight and getting swept by Tampa Bay. What's up with that? They lost three to Tampa Bay the other day. I'm going to try to keep this quick since I already made a video tonight. I got the Chiny, Chiny Martin Perez card. It's not numbered or anything, but it is a uh, rainbow foil parallel. I got this Noah Syndergaard, who I kind of like from the Mets. I'm not a big Mets fan, but... Uh, I like them, and I like Noah Syndergaard. That's a pretty cool-looking card. He's got fantastic hair, just like I do, and uh, pretty good picture too. Two Rockies, Blackman and uh, Lacroix, and uh, pulled three Yankees already in the series too. I got uh, David Robertson, Greg Bird, and Aaron Hicks. Uh, other notable things in that small rip, I've got this uh, Kyle Schwarber from the Cubs insert, 470 home runs. Will that focus? I don't know if that's focused. Francisco Lindor, I showed you that Perez already. Oh, and I got this today at the LCS. This Don Mattingly from Fantastic Sam's. I can't say I've ever seen one of these before, but I think it was something like 50 cents. It's 95 cents. I think he gave me a break on it. I got it for like 50 cents. It's just kind of interesting. Some kind of punch out thing from Fantastic Sam's. And then I, I uh, ripped this little pack of used uh, 76 tops. I got that Lefty Grove, which I already had, Sporting News insert. Uh, subset uh, this one's beat to shit I got a better copy of this somewhere I'm still looking for the Babe Ruth from this set if anybody has an extra one that they want to trade for something nobody seems to have that they go for about 10 bucks on eBay but I haven't resorted to eBay yet there's uh, that Bobby Bonds uh, this was probably the coolest thing was right on the top so uh Obviously, they put a nice card on the top of those those packs because it's a cellophane pack. You can see through it. You got Catfish Hunter, Jim Palmer, and Vita Blue all on the same card. 1976 tops. That was really the best thing in there. I don't know if this pack was worth the five bucks I paid for it, but I got a little stack of 76 tops. Nothing too notable. Anyway, that's it. I just really wanted to show off my Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager card. And uh, I'm going uh, to say goodnight to everybody. Uh, peace out, y'all. And uh, God bless. We will see you around. Hey, everybody. Rich here coming at you with another quick episode from the uh, syringe-infested hotel. Um, a couple people that checked in. Uh, yesterday, uh, I want to say hi to, uh, Zombie Collector and, uh, to my man G's Mikey, both of whom checked in, and let me just tell you guys, you are absolutely right, you do not want to stay at this hotel. 
I would not recommend any Motel 6. Anyway, I cracked four packs of uh, Series 2. I didn't get quite as good at pulls as yesterday. You guys may have seen that Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager relic that I pulled in the uh, previous episode. I think that's actually going to be, uh, I haven't posted that yet, so I'm going to tack these two episodes together. This is part two of uh, the uh, second edition from the hotel. Anyway, nevertheless, let's get right to it. So I cracked this series two. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's the same design as Series 1. I'm not super stoked about the little wave that partly covers the players' names, but, uh, you know, I can live with it. The photography is pretty nice in this set, and these are uh, these cards are at least from this, this season, whereas the Series 1, a lot of it was, you know, stuff from... Uh, Last season, they had a lot of players in the wrong uniforms and whatnot. We've been through that. But let's start with the Yankees I pulled. All right. We got uh, Ronald Torres. That's a pretty nice shot, right? I like that. A little unusual. Uh, Chase and Shreve. And uh, uh, Chapman, our closer. It's a nice pick picture of him that's what he looks like most of the time right with that extreme fastball of his uh here's some uh, some los angeles dodgers i won't go through every card some houston astros both of which i'm i'm happy to see these these two teams doing better i don't want the astros to do too well because i uh I want to see the Yankees go to the World Series, obviously. They're going to have enough trouble um, fending off the Red Sox without the uh, Astros doing too well. But I am happy to see both those teams from last year's World Series doing a little better than they started out. I guess they were both just slow starters. So anyway, I wasn't going to go through every base card. There's the Dodgers team card. There's a couple of... Uh, inserts i got anthony rizzo open years jackass little jerky boys tribute there this guy sandy alcantara from the marlins ah, i don't watch a lot of marlins so i can't say i really know him as how long has he been around looks like he was in the minors and then with the cardinals eh, been in the majors maybe one or two seasons Cabrera, Rizzo, we saw all that. Okay, and then I also ripped this uh, hanger box of uh, Donris Panini, which I'm not a huge fan of. There's the most of the base cards that I wasn't too interested in. A lot of big names in these. Uh, you know, they favor the big players because uh, that's all they got. You know, they don't have team logos, they can't even use team names, so, you know, just about every player is like a fan favorite, you know, you don't see a lot of lesser knowns in these packs, and uh, right on par, you know, with that, I got a lot of big names. Who do we got on this card? Okay, there's not a lot of Rockies in that box. I got Nolan Arenado and DJ LeMahieu on the single card. I got Nolan Arenado on his own card here. I got the San Diego Chicken. There's you, Darvish. There's some LA guys. Is that Corey Seager? Who is that? That is Cor Corey Seager and Clayton Kershaw. Okay. Well, that's a pretty cool card. And then, man, I got a lot of Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager. I'd have to say it about a dozen times because I think I got four Corey Seager cards here. There he is, there he is, there he is, George Springer, we got Clayton Kershaw, Cody Bellinger, we got uh, Alex Verdugo, is that how you say it, from LA, and then here's the, uh, these were all in the middle of the pack, I got this George Springer green parallel, Chiny, so Chiny, Robinson Cano, Chiny, Kyle Seeger, Chiny one. So Chiny. And Joey Vato. 
also green and shiny. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to keep it short. Damn, I'm over five minutes. Uh, someday I'll make a video less than five minutes. I think I've pulled it off once or twice. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. I thought I'd show you these cards. The hotel room's the same as it ever was. The syringes are still under the mattress. You want to see that one more time just for fun? It's not every day you uh, rent a hotel room and you get a pack of free syringes. Hopefully those are not used, but I'm not going to touch them and find out. Here's something else, too. Just in case you uh, need any more convincing, there's a needle, not a pin, a pin. So I got pins and needles in the hotel room. There's also some blood spots on the floor that I didn't notice yesterday. After being here a day or two, you start to notice some more stuff, you know, they came in today, they emptied my trash, but they didn't make my bed. They didn't replace my towels. They took the old ones, but they didn't give me any new ones. So this place is not great. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to say good night. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see who's walking by. I think everybody in this hotel except me has a pit bull staying with them. Not that I have anything against pit bulls, but it's just something I notice. As you walk down the tier, you see a lot of dogs and you get a lot of different smells. You know, you walk past the room where they're smoking cigarettes, another room they're smoking pot, another room they're freebasing cocaine. There's the pool. I'm not getting in that thing. But anyway, that's it. You guys uh, enjoy yourselves. Peace out to everybody. God bless, and we will see you around.